and welcome to Brisbane. We have just arrived at our hostel here and I'm gonna waste no time waffling in the intro. We're gonna go and explore this city. It has a pretty good reputation. I would say it's probably Australia's third most spoken about city after Sydney and Melbourne. So we are gonna see where it ranks in our listing today. We've got a few days here we're gonna explore and then we're gonna head to the Gold Coast. So we're staying in the same area for a little while now, but we're starting with Brisbane. So we're gonna go and explore the city. How excited. Welcome to Brisbane. This is the first view of the city that we've got and it is a pretty good one. We're just walking over the, what is it? The William Jolly Bridge. The William Jolly Bridge. We are on Brisbane South Bank. We just stopped off for a little Starbucks. Just a cheeky little bit of fuel. Not very Brisbane Central, but uh, Brisbane Central, Brisbane centric. You can get a Starbucks anywhere. It's um, more like we just passed it. It was just there. Yeah, we are now walking down Brisbane South Bank. The Brisbane sign is just behind us over here, but it was like super busy with tourists taking photos. So we're gonna have another look on the way back. We are heading towards like Brisbane Lagoon and Brisbane Beach. Basically, if you didn't know, Brisbane is like not actually on the coast. So they have a man-made beach and like lagoon area in the city so that you can still have that like Australia vibe. This is what I'm looking at right now. Cheeky little, uh, why was I gonna call it the London Eye? Am I stupid? Ferris wheel, not the London Eye. Yeah, it's actually called the Wheel of Brisbane. See what Australia are really good at? Naming things that are what they are. Like Seven Mile Beach. Miles. Guess how many miles it is? Yeah. Look at that though. I love this. I remember this bit from last time, guys. Look at this. Really gorgeous, kind of like tree-lined walkway up to the lagoon. This really reminds me actually of like gardens by the bay in Singapore. This is the first real time we've seen a lot of like festive things going on. I feel as though they start Christmas a little bit later here. Like all of this stuff that's on in this area only actually starts tomorrow, which is the 17th of December, which I think is quite late. I was just saying to Tom, like if this was in the UK, they'd be on that since like December the 1st, making more money off it. It only runs to the 22nd, which I Yeah, yeah, look, you can see the dates here no, for the like the Christmas event. Christmas Eve, oh, right, yeah. It's the 23rd. I thought the 22nd's really early. Yeah. But yeah, Merry Christmas. Brisbane's definitely the most festive place we've been so far. Wish that I could stay in this moment forever So I can hold you in my arms I will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm able to get the monster on Oh my god, hot chocolate that's arrived in a gravy dish. I love it. It's, it's just like, it's so hot. It's so hot. And it's got no handle. <laughs> oh oh my up. god, guys. This just looks so good. Basically, we've got marshmallows, banana bread, banana and strawberries to dip in this melted chocolate. Sometimes I still think about this experience from the last time I did it. 10 out of 10 worth it. And it's not actually that expensive. Yeah. So good. So, I've actually got a bit ready, guys. I forgot what it was like to look alive. But Tom and I are actually heading over to Karen's Diner. They've invited us to try out their brand new, I'm pretty sure, Brisbane restaurant. And if you don't know what Karen's Diner is, basically you just have to imagine the most Karen-y environment full of, like, negative Nancys that you can. And that is the theming of the restaurant. It sounds wild, and I don't think it's for, like, the thin-skinned. I feel like you just need to see it really to understand what it is but it's such a cool idea it's so funny it's such a like mix take of like a popular culture trend but also the food looks bloody insane and i'm starving so let's go That drink looks bloody insane. Tom's chucking straight in. And there is a child screaming. Karen. These look so, so good. Good morning, guys. It is 20 past six, and we are heading to Australia Zoo today. You've probably heard of this. It is a pretty, pretty famous place. Kind of just about an hour outside of Brisbane. So we're actually heading to the train because I think that that's like the easiest way to get here if you're not part of like a group. Last time I was here, I did it as like part of a coach tour. That was really easy. They like literally picked us up from here, I'm pretty sure. However, it did make it a really long day. A train kind of gives you a bit more flexibility. So we are going to head there. The reason that this is famous and the reason that I kind of like like going 
here that I would never really go to a zoo anywhere else is that this is firstly the Irwin Zoo. So like Steve Irwin's family still run this zoo. Really like often it's Robert Irwin, which is his youngest son that does like the crocodile show. But also it's a massive conservation area. Last time I was there especially, they were helping all the animals that had been injured in the bushfires. There were so many koalas that had been burnt in the fires, which was so sad the last time I was there. Um, they actually have like an on-site koala hospital. But we need to head to the train station now and it's going to be an exciting day. Guys, we have successfully made it to Australia Zoo. This is the iconic shot. You've probably seen this a million times before. You've seen it on this channel before. I've got this exact photo already. But I just decided to take it again because I was like, you never know. Anyway, Tom's never been here. How are you feeling? You excited? Excited, yeah. Where's your crocodile catching hat? Gotta have it on if you're gonna be an Arwen. Yeah, there we go. There we go. inside and we are like the only people here like there are a few people obviously filtering in but we've walked straight to the back first but yeah my top tip is get here as early as you can like yes we woke up at 5 45 for this but also the experience of being here like and it's so so quiet is, is actually unmatched it's amazing yeah these might be kangaroos what i also love about it here is that they're like not this isn't a cage like they can just roam around and i think you can go and touch them yeah i'm pretty sure you can stroke them they're quite big actually their tail's pretty hefty isn't it oh my god Tom, have you seen all of them laying down over there? This is Tiger Tom, drawn by Bindi Irwin when she was five. I love that they've had to clarify that that was when she was five and she didn't draw that like last week. Tom's just told me he's happy because he's seen a King Julian and a Melman now. How old are you? Not old enough. Not old enough. Do you not think their faces look a little bit like camels? Yeah, I think they are related to Oh my god, if it stood up on its hind legs, Tom, I think that'll be as tall as you. Not every day you vlog with a kangaroo, is it? This shot doesn't happen every <laughs> bloody week, does it? It's not the weekly vlog you're used to. A bit bigger than Lottie. I wonder what Lottie would do if she saw one of these. Lottie is my dog, by the way, if you didn't know. If you're Australian, what, what happens when your dog meets a kangaroo in the wild? Has that ever they happened? They have fights, don't they? Not with dogs, surely. Don't Maybe with a dingo. We are at the koala nursery currently behind me. There's like so, so many koalas. There's some baby ones as well, which is so cute. And we actually just got our photo back. Can't lie, it wasn't the most flattering photo I've ever seen. Oh my God, parrots. Yeah, the photo we got with the koalas, not the most flattering uh, image I've ever seen in my life. God, guys this is just massive it is incomprehensible that that is like real it looks literally like a dinosaur tell me that that doesn't look like et the thing he's doing with his head that is et these are pretty famous in australia we have had a lot of stories about the castle cassavary cassavary i don't know how you say it look at its horn jesus it is time for the crocodile show pretty famous here at australia zoo i'm gonna count down from three to one when i get down to one everyone on my side of the crocodile i want you to throw your thumbs up in the air and yell out Craigie at the top of your lungs. He's going to do Croc team! Yeah, he's one of the OG Crocs, came from overseas, Steve rescued him from a little crocodile farm, brought him back here and ever since then he's probably just got angry and angry. He's coming out nice and slow today. Stop looking on my feet, man. <laughs> A little sneak peek at some of the food that's to come. Wowie. We're just sat listening to this live music in this really gorgeous venue with these fairy lights. This is a bit of me. I would have this in my bedroom if possible. 
Hello guys, it is a little bit later. We are back in the room in the hostel, um, but we're actually heading back out. I haven't filmed anything because we've just been like, to be honest, kind of napping because it's been such a long day, but we're heading out for drinks. This was the exception to the rule because I was like, I think we're gonna have a quiet Saturday. And then we met a girl called Hazel who was in the vlog from the Whitsundays who actually lives here in Brisbane. And I messaged her yesterday and I was like, I think we might have a free evening, not expecting her to be free at such short notice the last Saturday before Christmas. But then she actually was like, oh, I'd love to go for a drink. And I was like, do you know what? Suddenly I'm no longer tired. Yes, let's go for a drink. So I think we're just gonna have a casual one, but she lives in Brisbane, so she knows the best places to go and I trust her judgment. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to meet Hazel. Look at how insane this bridge looks. It's lit up for Christmas and I absolutely love it. And also the skyline behind it. Look at this. This city looks so cool, man. I definitely didn't see this side to Brisbane the last time I was here. Good morning guys, it is Sunday. Last night ended up being a tiny bit of a more wild one than we thought. I can't even remember the last thing I filmed. I think I did film some stuff on my phone. But you know when you say you're going for one drink and then it ends up being three in the morning? Yeah, it was that, wasn't it? <laughs> Tom and I are never like that as well. Like we literally never really go clubbing. I very rarely go in a nightclub. I love a bar, I love a drink, don't get me wrong, but a nightclub is just not really my vibe. But it was so much fun and we ended up being with a big group of Hazel's friends. So they like knew the best places to go. All I'm gonna say is if you're ever in Brisbane, it's called the valley. It's like an area and it's just nightclub after nightclub after nightclub However, it is Sunday morning now. We're gonna head out into the city. It's actually nearer the afternoon We've had a lazy morning. We've done so much washing though So that has taken up a lot of time. We're accidentally dressed in matching outfits because we totally ran out of clothes But now we're gonna head into the city and we're actually going on a riverboat tour So that is what you're gonna see next very excitedly get your guide have really kindly gifted Tom and I a couple of tickets to different things when we are here in Brisbane and also then again on the Gold Coast when we're in Surfers Paradise. So I want to give them a huge, huge shout out. Basically, I'm sure you guys have heard of Get Your Guide because they are probably one of the biggest, like, general tourist websites that there are online. Tom and I used them a lot when we were traveling in Asia. I spoke about them in those vlogs, I think, I'm pretty sure. The way I've kind of done it here in Brisbane is seeing what they have available on the dates that we're here because a lot of stuff in Australia is really booked up right now. So this morning we are going on a riverboat cruise. I'm going to link Get Your Guide down below, but like I say, they are genuinely my top recommendation for if you want to have a browse for different things different activities a specific place that you're maybe heading to yeah get your guide will be linked down below but really really appreciate them are you ready for our riverboat tour <laughs> Yes, I am ready. We made it by the skin of our teeth, guys. We were running a little bit late because there are no Ubers this morning in the city, so we had to walk here. The time on the Google map thing was the exact amount of time it was before the boat left. So it was like a 17 minute walk and we had 17 minutes. So I was like, we're gonna have to run this. So I'm a bit sweaty. I've got banana bread and I'm going on a boat cruise. I will do everything I can. houses that we are passing right now is so nice tom and i are literally just like we could live here we could live here we could live here i love that they're all built with like a jetty as well like it's just expected that if you own this house you'll also own a boat i love that one far left one yeah so nice so guys beautiful. look at that <laughs> imagine owning that Somebody needs some new shorts here because he has kind of ruined his other ones because they've been washed so many times they just look a bit grim now, don't they? What's that? Your old shorts. Yeah, they've, all gone, like, they've gone really bobbly and like, like brownie. H&M saves the day. H&M, yeah, I think they were. Wow, they've got a big bikini section. Oh yeah, I guess we are in Australia. <laughs> we have stopped for a little lunch, guys. I've got a poke bowl. I never know if you say poke or pokey. I'm pretty excited about this one. Tom's having his first red rooster and it is not going down well. <laughs> Not the one. Not the one. We are in Sydney. No, we're not. I was, gonna say, I was gonna say Sydney's Botanical Gardens, Brisbane's Botanical Gardens. Just it's actually Botanic. Botanic, yeah, the Botanic Gardens of Brisbane, sorry. But there was actually a little market on here, so that's a fun fact that you should definitely know. Um, if you're ever here on a Sunday, eight until 3 p.m., there's like food stalls, market stalls. They are just clearing it up because it is like quarter to four. Oh, chickens. They're big bin chickens. Yeah, but we thought we'd just have a little walk through here anyway, and then we're gonna head back to the hostel for a little bit. Just have a bit of a recharge. I need to edit. 
like we're a bit behind on quite a lot of work and I'm very tired as well today. I'm flagging a bit. It's a Sunday and it feels like a Sunday, if you know what I mean. She's very cranky. No, I'm not cranky. I think maybe I was a tiny bit hungover this morning. Really? But now I'm just tired. Let's go for dinner. I think we're gonna head for Mexican tonight. We've passed so many cool restaurants in this city. Also, this is our room, guys. We've got a private room here. I don't think I showed you it. We've been sorting out laundry. This is honestly tidy. Like, you should have seen it 20 minutes ago. But we're gonna head out now. Stuff. It is. It's my mess. I am the messy one in this relationship. I'll hold my hands up and say it. For you is all I that they had donut time in Australia. This has just made my night. Tom and I are now gonna get one of these. It wasn't on the cards, but I just bloody love a donut time. Oh my God, Veruca Salt. Yeah, they're always different puns. Very good, very funny. We're trying to get in the Christmas spirit by watching Elf and having an early night. Are we feeling festive? Getting there, but it's hard when it's warm. It's just so weird that it's a summery Christmas. You know, wait, it's such a good film. It's a good Christmas classic. This better cure me. I have had little sleep. Tom's had even less because somebody was up watching the World Cup final until 4 a.m. here. But it was worth it. This looks good. I've got avocado and egg on a bagel just to change it up a bit, to be honest. Does, doesn't it? Good morning from the Gold Coast. We are in Surfers Paradise and I'm pretty excited to be here actually. I, contrary to popular belief and popular opinion, I actually really enjoyed it here last time. So I'm kind of happy to be back. Tom is just on the phone trying to sort some stuff out. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have like the best reputation i would say it probably has like a similar reputation to that of places like miami or like popular holiday resorts like i don't know i don't want to compare it to somewhere where it's like definitely not like that but definitely imagine kind of like the kind of holiday you might go on to go out like to go to a strip but it, it has like a similar reputation i am here to kind of show you another side to it a different side to the gold coast i think we've been blessed by good weather actually because i know that it would look considerably not as nice if it were raining. Guys, there's another Max Brenner. Somebody pointed out on Instagram the other day when I posted about this that this is actually a chain. I thought this was just in Brisbane. Oh, we found a little arcade. See, this is quite cute. And then behind me here, this is like the main high street. And then behind this is where the beach is. Here we go, guys. Welcome to Surfers Paradise. It's got a Christmassy touch going on. We've got a little decoration over the sign there. this i actually don't think you are this is this is a big reveal i'm sorry what <laughs> you're probably thinking what what am i supposed to be looking at this is the first time i've straightened my hair in about six weeks guys i've just had a proper little tlc session i just feel so much more myself if once in a while I take a bit better care of myself i've dyed my eyebrows which i'm quite impressed with i did this with men's beard dye that i bought from the pharmacy for like eight dollars so about four pounds and i was like can i do this myself i think i can and it doesn't look too bad and then i straightened my hair for two reasons one just because i wanted to look a bit nicer a bit more put together but also kind of just to like see the health of my hair it's really hard for me to tell when it's curly like how dry it is how thick it is how much my roots have grown out because like i can't really tell which is a good thing because i'm traveling but also i was kind of like right i want to see like just how much my hair has grown since i had it dyed and also how thick it is when it's straight because it always feels thick when it's curly but that doesn't mean that it is it's a bit of a lie like you can only really tell how thick your hair is either when it's wet or when it's straight hair chat's over we have checked into our hostel here in surface paradise we've been upgraded to a private room even though it has a bunk bed in it it is just tom and i in here which was really really nice the lady at reception was lovely this isn't gifted and we didn't ask for that as far as i'm aware although all of our travel has been booked through welcome to travel so maybe daryl did ask for that basically we've, we've got a private room which i wasn't expecting and it is beautiful but this is the room so we could actually have have two other people in here lots of floor space double bed and then the best part for me is we've got a view of the ocean just down there and also the Novotel <laughs> good uh, it's about 4 p.m now we've had a bit of like a catch-up afternoon and we're gonna head out now to the sky deck which is the tallest building in Australia I have been up it before Tom hasn't been up it before and then we're gonna go for dinner in a surf club that um, one of my dad's friends actually recommended because my dad has a friend that lives here on the Gold Coast so he sent me a ton of recommendations so I'm very excited to try them out but yeah basically first things first the sky tower in a ranking in the world it is 322 meters tall 
For reference, the One World Trade Center in New York is 546, so it doesn't really compare. It's about the same height as the Eiffel Tower, a tiny bit taller. The Empire State is 100 meters taller than this, so there's a reference. Yeah, the Burj Khalifa throws everybody else out the window. But like, why? I don't, just because they can. Someone's just gonna press all the buttons in true elf style. Oh, bloody hell, I hate it when they do this. You will be traveling at over three stories per second in one of Australia's fastest elevators. <laughs> the world. Are you joking me? Guys, this was like my laptop lock screen for the two years of the lockdowns. Not even because I particularly love this view or particularly love Surface Paradise, just because it represented being able to travel again to me. Like I would look at my laptop screen every day and I'd be like, one day I'll be back looking at views like this. And now to be here with my own eyes seeing it again, it's kind of like a full circle moment to be honest. It feels really weird. Guys, 7,000 kilometers in that direction is Hawaii. Trap myself to a cheeky glass of Pinot Grigio. This was $7, guys, which is, I think it came to about £3.90, which is not bad when you consider the view and where we are. Can you actually imagine getting a wine for £3.90 in the shard? Like, that just wouldn't happen. Guys, Tom and I have given ourselves 15 minutes to separate off to go Christmas shopping. We're not really doing gifts, but just to get like a few little knick-knacky bits. Just, I've got 15 minutes in this random shopping center to find something Tom might genuinely want and that isn't gonna take up a lot of space in the bag. It doesn't look like mushroom lasagna, but I ordered mushroom lasagna. Tom's got a parmo, which is the most northeast thing I've ever seen outside of the northeast. Good morning guys. I didn't really leave last night on anything specific. We went out for dinner and drink and then on the walk back we just randomly decided to go and do an escape room because we walked past one. We'd had a few drinks and it seemed like the best idea ever. And I didn't film it just because one, you can't film an escape room and two, it was quite nice to just have a bit of time and evening where it's just Tom and I enjoying an activity without me being like, and now we're doing this and now we're doing this. So we did an escape room although we were actually terrible at it and we didn't escape and that's the first time that has ever happened. I don't think I've ever failed at an escape room but to be honest, we'd had a few drinks and I was contributing nothing because it was a horror escape room. So it was ghosts, it was jumpy, it was jump scares, it was screaming, it was loud. I was like literally crying almost. Anyway, it is now Tuesday morning. I got up quite early. I was just on FaceTime to my friend Katie about something very exciting. But I finished finished on the phone now. It's now nighttime in the UK and Tom and I are heading to do something very exciting. I mentioned earlier in this vlog that Get Your Guide really kindly gifted us a few activities and the most exciting one is happening today. Guys, we are doing a jet boat tour and a helicopter ride over the Gold Coast. Are you joking me? I've never been in a helicopter before. I'm sure you've seen this on my Instagram by now or maybe on the thumbnail of this vlog if I've survived it. I'm quite nervous. I'm a bit scared of heights. I've never been in a helicopter. I also get really bad motion sickness. So all in all, I'm, I'm nervous but I'm so excited. This is one of those bucket list activities where when I saw that Get Your Guide offered it, I was like, this is something both Tom and I are gonna love. On a scale of one to 10, Thomas, how excited are you? Thomas. Thomas, it's his first name level serious. Yes, I'm very excited. I I've am... never, never been in a helicopter, so... Are you nervous at all? No, I'm looking forward to it. Could fall out the sky. No, I actually saw the tours that they run here yesterday and it looked so sick. So hopefully, gonna get some bloody good footage because uh, it's not every day you fly a helicopter over the east coast of Australia. And by fly, I don't mean me. Clearly, clearly we're not flying it. Ah! Let's go. You look like you're ready to fly the bloody helicopter. They're not aviators. Are they not? Oh. oh still not aviators. <laughs> so every day I'm like, I like aviators. And it was like, these aren't aviators. <laughs> we are about to go jet boating. Jet boating? I thought it was called, yeah. I'm quite excited for this actually. I think I'm more excited for this because I'm not as nervous. Uh, straight from one adrenaline activity to the next. We are at the helicopter pad. Is that what it's called? Helipad. Helipad. I'm shaking a bit. From the last one, my adrenaline's like, and I went straight to the next. 
Though I don't think I really realized until I sat down in this safety briefing just how nervous I actually was about this. They sat us down in the back of the helicopter, they told us how the headsets worked, and then that was basically it. We were up, we were off, and we were out over the Gold Coast. And honestly, after the takeoff, I really relaxed. It felt exactly like being in an airplane, and I'm not really scared of flying, luckily. However, I do think overall the experience was totally different because you do just get a better view. You get this really weird experience of also being able to like communicate with everybody in the helicopter through the headset. It does help that we were flying over somewhere incredibly beautiful to look at out of the windows. Hello guys, it's been a little while. We survived the helicopter. Oh my gosh, what an experience. If you ever get the opportunity, definitely do one. I mean, it was a little bit scary because you feel the movement so, so much more than you would feel it in a plane, don't you think? And it's very noisy as well, but you get like noise cancelling headphones, which yeah. is very good. Hence the massive headsets we were wearing. Yeah, it was insane. Anyway, now we're at Burley Heads, which is a different part of the Gold Coast, kind of, um, I'm not sure if it's north or south of Surface Paradise on a map, I think maybe south, and it's kind of a little bit less touristy, a little bit nicer, there's a lot of like national parks, a lot of walks you can do, and the beach is actually way nicer than Surfers Paradise, so this is a top tip if you're coming to the Gold Coast, maybe venture out of Surfers Paradise if that's where you're based. It was recommended to us by your dad's friend Chris, so yeah. thank you Chris. Yeah, Chris recommended it, I also watched some YouTubers that live in Burley Heads, which I also, I keep seeing it and I'm like that looks so beautiful, just in the national park here now doing the like coastal walk, so on the side of us here, here. Shock horror given that it's a coastal walk is the coast. You also get a really great view of Surface Paradise from this side because it's kind of like that is definitely the most built up area with like the most skyscrapers and the view of it like from over here is probably better than the view of it when you're in it if that makes sense. We have completed the Burley Heads hike. So we've got smoothies. I've gone for banana, honey, coconut and granola, which is very thick. Like it's not coming through the straw. So you know how yesterday I put in like quite a lot of effort to go for dinner? Not today, I'm going for dinner like this. And I'm wearing a sweatshirt guys, because it's 20 degrees, which you're gonna be like, oh, that's quite warm. Obviously that is warm compared to like December in the UK but it's 20 degrees and really windy and that's actually not that warm when last week we were in like 35 but this is not me complaining it's just me saying this is this is the outfit tonight but we are going for dinner we have just been in the room for like the last three hours I've been editing solidly so has Tom Tom is basically doing all of my like short form content at the moment so anything you see that's up on TikTok or Instagram unless it's like a funny TikTok or like a me TikTok it's all done by Tom so we're both editing side by side and I'm really working like as much as I can today and tomorrow and yesterday so that I can have like Christmas week off of everything like I would love to just obviously still be vlogging but not be on my laptop for like five seven days across Christmas and New Year so that's my aim but it means we're pedaling hard at the moment so that I've got like stuff ready to go so three hours of me just sitting in bed didn't vlog it but we're heading out for dinner now I think we're gonna come back and watch a Christmas film we're gonna go out maybe get a pizza come back and watch the Santa Claus which is an elite choice Hello guys, what a shocker. I didn't end this vlog, so I'm not gonna waffle on because this might be the longest vlog I've uploaded in a very long time. I imported all my footage and I just don't remember filming this much. I was like, surely this isn't all for the vlog, but it is. It was very long. It was an amazing couple of days. Brisbane and the Gold Coast was a real highlight, which I think kind of surprised both me and Tom. Here's Tom. Hi. Spoiler, we're in Byron Bay now. That's actually where we're spending Christmas. Brisbane and the Gold Coast were so much fun. They have so much to offer that's quite different to a lot of the rest of Queensland so we really enjoyed it we had a great time a huge huge shout out to get your guide for helping organize the helicopter trip the boat tour and the jet boat experience do I want to say thank you to Karen's diner I think I do I'm not sure thank you was the right word but it was definitely an experience and you guys need to try it out for yourself if you're in any city where there's a Karen's diner all I can really say about that is you just have to see it with your own eyes but yeah I'm gonna end this vlog here give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it if you've managed to get to the end and I shall see you after Christmas now so have the absolute best Christmas whatever you're up to thank you so much for supporting my channel and watching these vlogs over the festive period I potentially I'm probably gonna post about this on Instagram but I'm gonna have probably like a week off now from posting so I will see you whenever the next vlog goes live but it will definitely be before the new year so have a very Merry Christmas enjoy whatever you're up to enjoy relaxing and taking some time for yourself and I shall see you in my next vlog which will be from here in Byron Bay. Bye vlog. Bye guys. <laughs>